Hello, my name is Maria Victoria Mateos. I work as a hematologist at the University Hospital of Salamanca in Spain. And I am here in Chicago attending the ASCO meeting. And I will present on behalf of the International Myeloma Working Group an updated risk stratification model for patients with smoldering multiple myeloma. Smoldering is an asymptomatic plasma cell disorder in the middle between monoclonal gammopathy and myeloma, very heterogeneous. And in fact, while Mayo Clinic and Spanish Myeloma Group work at trying to identify patients at high risk of progression to myeloma. And the definition of high risk smoldering myeloma is consistent with a group of patients in which the risk of progression to myeloma is 50% at two years. In addition, with these two models developed by both Mayo and Spanish, many investigators developed or tried to find another features, another baseline characteristics in smoldering myeloma patients predicting risk of progression to myeloma. And at the same time, the Spanish myeloma group demonstrated that the early treatment for high-risk smoldering myeloma was effective in terms of time to progression and overall survival. And Professor Lonial from ECO group will present also positive results about the early treatment of smoldering with lenalidomide versus observation, but using a different model. So based on this background, what we decided to do is to do a retrospective analysis, including 2001 smoldering myeloma patients around the world, in order to try to define a risk model, in order to try to identify the features that can predict the most risk of progression to myeloma, especially 50% of risk of progression at two years. So most smoldering myeloma patients included in this retrospective analysis were IgG-kappa, the median age was 60 plus, the median of the monoclonal component was around 2 grams per deciliter, the plasma cell bone marrow infiltration approximately 19%, and the serum free light chain ratio was the mean was approximately 34. So we did the first an univariate COX analysis, in order to evaluate the individual risk of each feature, predicting risk of progression to myeloma. And uh, within the features in which we observed a significant value in terms of uh, predicting progression to myeloma, serum free light chain ratio, as well as uh, M component and plasma cell bone marrow infiltration emerged as uh, the most valid features predicting progression to myeloma. And in the COX multivariable analysis, these three features emerged as, in the, as, the, uh, emerged as features with independent value predicting risk of progression to myeloma. And in fact, the cutoff were 2 grams per deciliter for the monoclonal component, 20% for the plasma cell bone marrow infiltration, and 20 for the involved versus uninvolved serum free light chain ratio. And with this model, to 2020, we were able to identify three different groups of patients. One group of patients at high risk, in which the median time to progression was approximately two years, 50% risk of progression at two years. But also it's important to say that when none of these risk factors were present, we were able to identify a subgroup of patients in which the risk of progression was really very low. An additional analysis included cytogenetic abnormalities, and in the univariate analysis, the presence of 414, 1416, plus 1Q, or deletion 13Q, emerging as the feature with the most prognostic value. And these characteristics were included in the previous model, and we were able to identify one additional subgroup of patients with a high risk of progression to myeloma, and the risk at two years was approximately 70% when three or more features were present. So in summary, I would say that this new risk model validated the 2020. The information about the cytogenetic abnormality is valid because it's going to help us to redefine high-risk smoldering myeloma patients. 
And in summary, I would say that in the trials that are coming, it's important to select for these trials patients in which the risk of progression to myeloma is at least 50% at two years.